Hey YouTube, it's Yuri Shadar T123, sorry for hitting noise in the back, so I have to call this bad recording with an iPhone 5, and if you're, su you're subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos, you are probably wondering, didn't you just make an Air Force 1 unboxing, and yes I did, but um, I got another pair, so yeah, the hustle doesn't stop, I got another pair, um, and I got some other stuff unboxings coming in, I told you guys I'm back on YouTube, and I wasn't gonna lie, I kept my promise, um, I got my other Air Force Ones that I unboxed yesterday, the all blacks, and these are the all whites. So, you guys know the drill, let's get started. Uh, House of Hoops by Foot Locker, or it used to say by Foot Locker, but this is Foot Locker. Um, like I said, I, bought, I unboxed the black pair yesterday, or I, uh, because I schedule, I started to s schedule my uploads. I don't schedule all of them, but I schedule some. So today is um Monday, June 29th and um hold on a second, I got a notification. Today's June 29th and that's today when that's the day that the these are supposed to um release on YouTube. And today is obviously just like I said, um uh June 29th. So I'm unboxing these June 29th and I'm gonna upload them either June 30th or July 1st. I don't know. I'll 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 see about it. So anyway, um, here's your receipt for the receipt police. Um, my bank account number is actually there, so I have to watch what I show. Uh, it doesn't even say it. Let me see. I don't use cash that much anymore. I use a bank now. I have a bank. $90 with no tax. And, um, speaking of that, I, there was this one guy who was hating on my YouTube videos, and he said, oh, this dude gets the sneakers from his mom, and that is not true, actually. The only shoes that my mom has ever bought for me that I unboxed on this channel was, um, let's see, oh, the Son of Force, yeah, those, the all black ones. She got me Converse and those boots that I unboxed in December. Those are the only shoes that she's ever bought for me. Everything else is bought on my, with my own money, so... Just a little knowledge. So yeah, let's get right into it. Nike Air, Air Force One. Um, regular old gray box. And Foot Locker. Even the Foot Locker tag. Air Force 107. Eight and a half. White, white. Or white on white. And suggested retail is 90. So I got the blacks. So you don't have to complete the pack and get the whites. So let's get right into it. These are, these are dope. These are really, really dope. You got some writing right there. Wow. These are really nice. I can't express that enough. Let me pull out the other one. Um, I didn't try this one at the store. Oh, no. Uh-uh. One of them doesn't have um, a shoe tree. I might have to go back. Get my shit fixed. But um, this one does have a shoe tree in it. Um, so, yeah, these are really dope. <clears throat> Sorry, these are really dope. Uh, all white, you can't go wrong with all white. Cocaine color, or ice, whatever you want to call it. I call it cocaine white. Um, I don't know, because it's kind of, or it gets yellowy over time, but these are icy. Icy white. They might seem yellow on camera, but they're really white. So, yeah, got the whites, and then I got, um... We got, uh, let me see if I can open this right. We got the blacks right here. I might actually take off the shoe tree from this one and put it in here because I like, I'm going to wear these for school. And um, these are street wear, so yeah, I might just do that. Let me just pull out both so you guys can see a comparison. Um, both come with the AF1 paper. Let me move this to the side. The AF1 paper. Um, it doesn't have a certificate of authenticity, but uh, let me see. If there's a yep. We got the the stamp, which means it's official. And I already showed you my receipt from Foot Locker. So and the Foot Locker tag. So I never have unboxed fakes on this channel. Everything that you see on you on the Richard Ortiz one two three is legit. There's never been a fake pair of shoes. Or there's never been a fake pair of anything on this channel except those beats. Um, yeah, I don't, no, I don't even want to talk about that. But if you want to check those out, go check it out. 
I don't call those, I don't call those fake because they're headphones, like, you could have just, like, made a custom, but whatever, I'm not gonna get into that. So, um, yeah, let's take a deep, or let's take a review through the shoe. Um, yeah, so, it's a white, all Air Force One, uh, Nike Air, and we got the swoosh going around. Um, I love the way that, how this is laced, um, I, I really think it's good. But the problem with this is that um, my shoe, my foot was slip out of the shoe, so um, I'm gonna have to lace it like this. Uh, I'm gonna have to lace it tight, which is unfortunate, but it's all right. We got the holes for ventilation up there, and on the bottom, uh, these are DS, obviously. Uh, got the stars, the classic Nike um, Air Force One bottom, and then got Nike. On the inside, we have men's size eight and a half Nike Air Force One in gray. And we got something there, and then on the other shoe, it says 82 cents in gray, and then men's size eight and a half. Um, one thing that I didn't notice, which is kind of interesting, is that uh, these were produced. Uh, let me get the other one, these were uh, produced in. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's a suit tree. Uh, not really. Let me take it out. Hold on. I'll be right back. So, these were produced in... Let me see if I can focus that. January 14th of 2015, which is this year. And they stopped producing... Um, let me see. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you guys. But it says uh, March 7th of 2015. And I thought these were sitting sitting on um, Foot Locker for a while. And then these were produced the same exact day. Which I kind of found interesting. Because um, you would think that a shoe like this that never sells out. You would think that it would be like, you know, um, like it would always be in the shelves. But these are a fresh 2015 batch. Like it's not old. Oh, this isn't like... This is an old shoe. This is all white. Even though, like, this shoe was first released in 1982. But, um, you get the point. These aren't, these shoes weren't in Foot Locker since 82. That would just be stupid. So, yeah. Got the leather. The soft leather. Really, really nice shoe. I cannot express to you guys how much I want you to get this shoe. Um, I took out the right shoe tree for, from the black ones. Got Nike. Oh, the Nike check, and then we got some stuff right there. Put it, yeah. So I concluded that I would just put the the shoe tree show these in here because I have the same exact size on both. Got an eight and a half on this. Got an eight and a half on this. So just figure put that like that. So um, which one would you pick if you had a choice? Would you pick the all white cocaines or the black? Um, what, what can I compare these to? Like black ice? I don't know. Uh, let me just presentation. I always make a big deal about presentation, but okay. So which one would you guys pick? Cocaine or ice white or um I don't even know cool nickname. Uh, maybe black ice. Uh, that sounds cool. Um, so yeah, so which one would you pick? Leave a comment down below. I personally would pick the white ones just because, um, I like lighter colors, but, um, the, the black ones are dope too. And, um, yeah, so this is the end of this video. Um, like I said, I'm back. I'm not leaving. Uh, now that school is out and I don't have summer school, I could post videos any time of the day whenever I want to. And I'm working on a rent right now, so that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty cool. And um, like I said in my Air Force One black video, I um, what's it called? I ordered a Herschel Supply book bag that's gonna come in a couple days, and um, I'm going to order a pair of Adidas joggers that go with those. So stay tuned for excuse me, stay tuned for that. And uh, oh wait, forgot <laughs> this for the classic AF1 eyelet. Alright, now the video is, is pretty good. Alright, so, anyway guys, um, sorry, I keep burping. 
So stay tuned for those videos, and I'll catch you on the next time. See you guys. Peace. Before I go, I forgot to mention I have a Snubs account now. So follow me at Snubs at the Richard Ortiz, and um, also follow me on Twitter at the Richard Ortiz, and um, use my Karma Loop discount code, which is TRO28, to get yourself 20% off the first time and 10% off the second time. So I'll say that again for Snubs and Twitter. Is D Richard Ortiz and for um, Karma Loop web code is TRO28. So this time I'm really signing off, guys. Peace. I'm in a whole nother